Facebook is originally used for real-time communication, entertainment, and emotional catharsis. Meanwhile, it has successfully transformed from a social media platform into an academic platform for class-related purposes. We have conducted a survey entitled Facebook as an extension of class interaction in UP Diliman. Of all 130 students who participated in the said survey, 99% of them make use of Facebook as an academic platform for uploading their homework, accessing readings, PowerPoint presentations, and announcements of their professors. Para sa akin, yung group chats and then um, yung groups din mismo at saka yung event pages. 99% of students rely on Facebook for academic purposes and 98% of them rely on chat for social interaction. Young groups, it's a nice way to interact with a certain amount of people. Plus, obviously, yung chat din. Well, yeah, you can chat. Tapos, merong video call, tsaka voice calls. You can still talk like really. This academic year, all students are part of at least one class-related Facebook group. Majority of students, or 65%, rely heavily on Facebook for school purposes and think they can't live without it. Students seem to depend on Facebook. However, this social or academic platform also has certain limitations or weaknesses such as privacy invasion, Facebook dependency as to how it discourages face-to-face -face interaction. Hence, participation doesn't mean collaboration. Hello, hello, how are you? I feel like class groups are a good way. Because in so the prof can announce stuff. Kaya mm -hmm. kaya malas sa classroom. In this day and age of technology-driven millennials, students prefer to communicate via social media platforms like Facebook. Meanwhile. The findings also suggest that students can incorporate other features of Facebook, mainly as a social platform, into an academic platform such that 98% of them use Facebook chat or messenger and 58% of them manage Facebook pages or groups for their classes wherein they interact with groupmates more on Facebook than in real life. How can I live without Facebook?